your mind will protect you from finding out the truth and it will fight it will uh, it will not accept the truth even if the proof is right there in front of your eyes and obvious it will take a lot of months of reprogramming your mind into reality but what is reality because you because you know you believe and watch the word believe not know but believe knowing is seeing it for yourself right like actually seeing it. like i can hold an apple in front of your eyes and this apple is real you will know it that it's real because you see the apple in my hand in front of your eyes but believing is me being on a telephone with you saying i have an apple in my hand you have to believe me right and how trustworthy am i am I'm, I'm your friend okay i believe you Right, but some someone you don't know, they might have an agenda or something, right? Like not telling you the truth. I might want to fool you. Do you still believe them? No, because you don't know them. So do you know these people who claim that this is the real image of your earth? They're not your friend, are they? <laughs> no. <laughs> and have you have you spent like at least thirty minutes of looking into the information behind this image because i will tell you people who believe this image have spent way more time <laughs> looking into this image you know because you gotta you gotta like think about it. all those flat earth people who believe the earth is flat uh, you might say because you believe it you're believing this but i'm not going into the belief part of it so you know you're thinking about those flat earth people like crazy right like they they are just not smart they're not educated they i don't know did they even went to school <laughs> right that's what you're thinking and that's what you're thinking you're not thinking of them as real smart people nobody does but why why would someone believe this rather than this because it turns out that um, the story that backs this one up is completely, is like, it's a belief, again, it is a belief. You have to, listen, in order for you to believe that our earth is like this image, you will have to believe that the moon landings really did happen within, again, a time span of 15 years. And I don't mean just one moon landing. I mean, I mean like everything. It had to happen in a very short span of time, maybe in total a bit more than 15 years, where they went, went there to do their research, supposedly, on where to land. You know how many, how many flights they had? Not so much. I mean, there was like that's not that that's I'm not going to go into that because you can watch my other videos or other people's videos, and it will not, but <laughs> it will be not it will not be so hard for you to snap out of your dream because you're living in a illusion if this is what you believe. But again, you know, you create your own reality. So if you decide, well, no, actually, actually. I I believe of the hollow earth theory and people do believe that. It's not it's not just something, you know. So you you create you create all of this. You create you create this one and this one, this one, this, well, which one do you believe? <laughs> you know what's the funny part? There is not one proof that for hundred percent proves not either of them not this one not this one this one or this one it is only your imagination which proves it so you know you can like uh, believe whatever you want if you study aliens long enough 
you know that you will see spaceships in the sky. I'm not kidding. I am not kidding you. If you study that stuff long enough, and I mean like really study it, like with the possibility of it being true, I can guarantee you because I have seen it. <laughs> you might think like, <laughs> that's crazy. Like you are actually insane. Yeah, but I, I am not insane. Because if I've seen it, then uh, what does that make me? A reporter of reality, isn't it? So again, like, if you study that aliens long enough, you will believe it. And you will make that your reality. Like, for example, do you know people believe in ghosts? <laughs> yeah. You know, you know that they believe in ghosts. What do you think they're crazy? Is that what you, is that your explanation? Well, then my explanation is everyone who believes something that I do not believe in, they are automatically crazy. But somehow they still seem to function and still seem to do normal things like you do. But how do you explain the fact that they believe in ghosts? You see, you have to be open-minded for the things I'm saying. But your mind, if you are like those scientific people, you know, those close-minded people who only believe facts, which every fact is based on nothing but assumption and belief. Because everything is half true and half false. Everything can be, like, argued against with some valuable information. But you know, again, do you know, do you believe that you create your own reality? Why do they say... Don't play with the Ouija board. Why is that? You know why is that? Because since you are a creator of your reality, yes, you do imagine everything. Like these earth things, you know, you imagine all of that. If you if you study uh, dome earth, you know you will believe it. I can guarantee it. But again, back to uh, like back to the ghosts. Thing. you know why is it dangerous to play with the Ouija board is because since again you create your own reality you can create some stuff like those you can create actual ghosts in your room and they will be there and you will see some stuff that you don't want to see because you create everything you create the good stuff and the bad stuff there is no difference it's all just appearance. There is no difference. Like God does not sit there and say, well, I think you should experience this rather than this. Because what's the difference? Nothing. It's just an appearance. But again, the scientific people don't believe in none of that stuff. They don't believe in like uh, spiritualism, all that stuff. You know, occult stuff. Now they make you they make you scared of the occult, right? That's <clears throat> like if you if you if you look at something on the internet. I'm gonna give you an example right there. I see like if I type in occult, what do you see? You see all those uh upside down crosses right the devil you can see the devil right here isn't that what you see why is that why do you think that that's the the message like don't mess with the occult don't look into it don't research anything that's not scientifically proven Right? Like, why is that? Uh, that makes me fearful. Like, what, omens? Really? Seriously? Oh my god. What's that? Witchcraft? Are you serious? You know what the NASA is doing is witchcraft? Oh, you think I'm joking, eh? Do you realize that this is not a real image? Nothing is in space is a real image. So that means what? 
That means that it is all based on fantasy. But back to the occult. You know, they make you fearful of that stuff because there are some things that you don't have to know according to some people. Why is that? Well, if you find out that you are doing magic every single day of your life and everything you do is based on belief, right? You are a magician. You are the creator of your own reality. Do you understand that? <laughs> yeah, it is the truth. Everything, everything that you think will appear in your reality. Like, if you don't believe me, like, think of something, some situation, for, like, repeatedly, right? Like, repeatedly until you implant it into your mind. And you, I will guarantee you that you will experience it. Or you will meet this person. Or, you know, like, I'm not joking. You know. I'm serious, I will make more videos about this stuff. Be so, uh, there was someone at the door. So I had to open the door. But listen to me. You know that you deserve to know the truth. And there is no need for you to fear anything in this world you don't have to fear any asteroid hitting your earth that will uh, somehow destroy all of this because it is not possible and that's like the reason why i i don't know like this nasa thing is like so fascinating to me because it holds the key to believing this right rather than Rather than this, right? Like, you have no control over it, do you? You don't. So, uh, so you tell me which one is it. You can make them a reality if you want to. It can be done. But your mind, again, it will stop you from realizing the truth. Because your mind has no business in you knowing the truth. It has, it, it has its own only purpose is to uh, like protect from destroying your view of life so you will not grow as an individual and you will and you will like get stuck in a belief but what the purpose of this video and of each and every single video that I'm posting is to make you realize that you are more special than you think, than people tell you. And that you are a creator. You create your reality again. Because, you know, these are artists too, from NASA, right? How do you think they get these pictures? What do you think, what do you think they photographed it with a uh, camera, right? <laughs> no. They get, like, data. And then they tra they translate it into a artist perspective. So she can like, if she would work for NASA, I don't know if she does. Uh, like she could be, but I don't know. Maybe she's just uh, working on some stuff for her, for herself. But they get like data, and then the artist, if she was one, she would like. Okay, well, I think. That this is what the earth looks like they don't know for sure that these are actually the colors in space they don't know what about the star problem that was so funny if you look at my video about the stars the contradictions that i just posted i think yesterday that was so funny they don't they, they cannot even agree on the fact if you see stars in space or not like i can see stars from earth but when you're in space, that's a problem. But I know why? Because nobody's been in space. And humans cannot go there. What do you think this tinfoil thing can go in space? You really believe that? 